Hey guys, what is up? Hope that you guys are doing well today. Um, I uh, just got back home from uh, having a Bible study with a friend of mine, um, and uh, we actually looked at um, the first three chapters of Revelation um, per his request, and um, uh, going through that made me realize, uh, or at least helped remind me, that uh, there is a lot of things in Scripture that I do not understand. Um, and, uh, and I really feel inadequate a lot of times at teaching God's word. Um, and so that can be intimidating and sometimes a problem. Um, yeah, got a lot of learning and growing to do. Um, so I try to do my best to only teach what I feel really confident on that I'm teaching the truth. Um, and that is why I always tell you guys to, uh, you know, challenge me if you have any disagreements with what I'm teaching. Um, so yeah, but uh, the one, uh, the lesson that I'm wanting to do today um, is pretty simple and straightforward. I don't think there'll be any problems or any disagreements uh, here today, um, but uh, just uh, another short and sweet one for you guys. Um, if you're not already there, I would encourage you to open your Bibles with me to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 22. And that is the only verse that we will be reading for this one. Uh, it's going to be uh, pretty quick and simple. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Verse 22, uh, Paul writing here to Timothy, um, this believed that this is probably Paul's um, last letter that he wrote in his life, or at least one of the last letters that he wrote nearing the end of his earthly life. He says, flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Flee youthful passions. Um, what I want to be looking at here in this lesson is really three points. Um, uh, the three points uh, have to do with running. Uh, we need to be running. Um, fleeing youthful passions. To flee means to run away from. Uh, then it says to pursue uh, some godly things. Pursue means to be running towards. Um, and then it says to do this along with those who call on the Lord. So we need to be running uh, with people. So running away from, running towards, and running with. Okay, that's what I want to look at. So first, the first point is to flee or run away from youthful passions. Um, so just in general, just a lot of us who have lived any amount of time, I mean, I'm, I'm 35 years old now, um, and uh, we kind of know what youthful passions would be. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of stupid things. Uh, some things aren't necessarily sinful, but there are a lot of stupid things that we wanted to do or did do when we were younger. Um, and it's believed here that I think that Timothy might have even been in his 30s at this time or by this time or something like that. And so, I mean, he's still telling him, flee youthful passions. I mean, just things that we know are not for our own good. Um, there are a lot of things uh, that uh, maybe we want to do or we think we're allowed to do or something um, and uh, we might think it's a good idea But in reality, it's just stupid and sometimes sinful and so um, So I'll leave that for you to judge for yourself. What are youthful passions? Um, but uh, but if it's sinful, I'll just say if it's sinful just run away from it um, you know, uh, I think of um, a lot of times as a man a lot of times what I think of as a youthful passion would be things of a sexual nature, things that are sexually tempting. Um, you know, 1 Corinthians 6, 18, I believe it is, says to flee fornication or to flee sexual morality, to be running away from it. So when you think of running away from something, um, and this is something I've failed to often and I'll admit over time, um, but when you think of fleeing from something, especially uh, especially sexual temptation, uh, it, you, it, you, you need to, well, I want to say this, you need to make sure you're not inviting it in because sometimes we put ourselves in situations um, where the temptation gets stronger rather than running away from it. And so, um, so yeah, and I'm definitely, I'm definitely stepping on my own toes with that one. So I'll just, uh, I'll be frank with you and just let you know that I struggle with that myself. But we need to be fleeing or running away from youthful passions. Um, let's just say, let's just run away from sin. Don't even stand there and invite it in, but just run away from it. Um, so, uh, actually, it, actually, hold on. Let, let me. Let, I'm, I'm thinking about something here as, as I say that. This wasn't on my mind originally, but there is a good lesson here from the first psalm. If if you turn with me to the first psalm, 
Um, it's interesting because there is somewhat of a progression here when you look at this. Um, Psalm in the verse 1 says, How happy, or blessed, how happy is the one who does not walk in the advice of the wicked, or stand in the pathway with sinners, or sit in the company of mockers. This seems like a progression to me um, because, you know, first he says, first he talks about walking, then he talks about standing, and then he talks about sitting, okay? <laughs> so oftentimes we'll kind of walk with sin and just act like it's not a big deal, you know, or something, or we're like, oh, we can run away if we really, you know, need to. But then we end up standing in it, so to speak, and we're just kind of standstill, you know, um, which is even more dangerous. And then we get so comfortable with sin that then we just sit in it. We just sit there in our sins, and um, and and just uh, it becomes a to where it's not even a problem with us. Like we're just comfortable with it, and that, that is a problem. So uh, definitely, before you even start walking with sin, before you're walking or standing or sitting, just run away from it because you you start to think, oh, I can I can handle this a little bit, you know. But then a little bit turns into a lot. Um, and so we need to make wise decisions and to just run away from uh, sins and even temptations. So anyway, first point, flee youthful passions. Second point, pursue, that means run towards, righteousness, faith, love, and peace. Uh, nothing too uh, hard there to understand. We just we need to be running away from evil and we need to be running towards righteousness, faith, love, and peace. Um these things of a godly nature, um, all things that are righteous, things that are right in God's sight. Um, faith, you know, that means to have trust, uh, sorry, that means to have trust or confidence in God or to rely on God. That's what it means to have faith, uh, that we are strengthening, uh, being strengthened in our faith, that we are running towards love, love for God, love for our family in Christ, love for our family and friends, love for even our enemies. Um, and we need to be running towards peace. We should be a peaceable uh, people as Christians of God, and we need to make peace with others. And we need to um, that we need to try to bring people to God that they can be um, at peace and reconciled to God. So running away from evil, running towards righteousness. And there at the end it says, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart, we need to be doing this with others. We need to be running towards righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Because uh, when we stand alone without other Christians, it is much easier to give in to temptation. It is much easier for us to sin. Um, but when we are trying to pursue godly things, how much easier is it when we have our brothers and sisters in Christ, our siblings in Christ, there with us, working together, being one, being united in Christ, um, trying to uh, bring glory to God with like-minded people, um, with those who uh, call on the name of the Lord uh, from a pure heart. So much easier. So let us be running away from evil and be running towards righteousness and running with our siblings in Christ, uh, looking to them for strength in God. Um, and yeah, and I think that it'll be a lot easier for you, for us to put off sin and to put on righteousness. So, uh, that's it for this one. Just, uh, want to encourage you guys to run away from sin and run towards righteousness and run with, um, your brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, all right. If there's any, uh, any comments or questions you have, or even any disagreements, you know, I'm welcome. Uh, I welcome all that. And so uh, that's it for this time. Uh, yeah. Till next time. Thank you guys. And I love you.